What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about jailbreaks. So that means iOS 11 jailbreaks, that means iOS 10 jailbreaks. We're gonna be talking about all the jailbreaks that have been released in the past couple of months and what you should do. So I wanna go over each of the jailbreaks and kind of explain what they are, how they work to an extent. I'm not gonna to get too technical into how they work, but you know, I'll give you an idea. That way this video is not two hours long. I'm trying to cut down my videos. My last video was like 28 minutes. So I don't wanna hold you around for that long. I'm gonna to try to cram as much information in the shortest amount of time possible. But first and foremost, yes, you can jailbreak your device. And yes, you can install tweaks right now. But let's go ahead and talk about the jailbreaks one by one and then I'll give you my recommendation at the end of the video. So first, let's talk about the Meridian Jailbreak. This jailbreak works on iOS 10 up to iOS 10.3.x. So this jailbreak is released, but it's not quite complete. So you guys probably remember when I mentioned about KPP bypass in some previous jailbreak videos. This is a difficult portion of a jailbreak. And this is something that's been changed a little bit in the Meridian Jailbreak. So they're doing a new process that is called KPP less. So while this version works and this process works, the reason that it's not quite complete is because Substrate and Cydia is not updated for the KPP less process. So for that reason, you have a more unstable jailbreak. So this works on any 64 bit device, iPhone 7 plus and lower. So basically any chipset that has an A7 to an A10 and is running iOS 10 through iOS 10.3.x. So since it doesn't have that Substrate support, I would definitely recommend staying away from this jailbreak unless you know exactly what you're doing. So next is Goblin. Now this jailbreak is going to work with iOS 10.3.x. Now this one doesn't use the KPP less process. It uses the KPP bypass. Therefore it has substrate applied and makes this jailbreak a little bit more stable or quite a bit more stable. But again, it's not completely finished and I would recommend staying away from this jailbreak unless you know exactly what you're doing. Now keep in mind, I'm gonna be having links for all of these jailbreaks in the description if you guys want to you know, do some research yourself and if you actually do want to try these jailbreaks out yourself, then definitely do so by clicking those links in the description. But I will definitely do a jailbreak tutorial for iOS 11 once everything is pre-packaged, everything's really easy, and it's for the mainstream users. So you're not gonna have to use SSH to install tweaks. You know, it's gonna be straight up like all our previous jailbreaks where you basically go through, you know, five steps or less and you have jailbroken your device, you have Cydia on your device and everything works as intended. So keep that in mind. But again, if you wanna do your own research, links in the description. Now let's talk about Helix. Now this is the last iOS 10 jailbreak that we have released right now. And then we'll get into the iOS 11 jailbreak. So Helix, this one only works on 32-bit devices, but it's stable and it works iOS 10.3.3. So if you're on iOS 10, you have a 32-bit device, use Helix. Helix is stable and Cydia works on it. So definitely check it out if your device falls into that category. All right, so now let's jump into the iOS 11 jailbreaks. There's only two of these, so let's start with LibreIOS. So LibreIOS works on iOS 11 up to iOS 11.1.2. Now this uses that same process, the KPP less process, so that means that Substrate is not updated, and that means that Cydia is not updated for this jailbreak. So while this jailbreak does work, Morpheus, the developer of this jailbreak, has stated that Cydia will never be supported for this jailbreak. I think there's some kind of tiffy going on between Sorik and Morpheus. And so Morpheus is just saying, forget it. City is never going to be supported. Stop asking about it. But in my opinion, I would just continue to hold out for just a little bit longer just to see if once Sorik actually updates and releases Substrate and updates Cydia, maybe they can reconcile. Maybe they can, you know, hug it out, bro out and they can actually implement Cydia into LibreIOS. That way you can have the complete package. And last but not least, we have the Electra jailbreak. Now, this is the jailbreak that I would recommend if you're on iOS 11. This works on any iPhone models, iPod touch models, iPad and iPad mini models that are on iOS 11 through iOS 11.1.2. Now, the thing about this jailbreak is, is that it doesn't use Substrate. It actually uses a Substrate alternative that Coolstar has developed himself. And of course, we still haven't had Cydia updated just yet, but once that is updated, you should have full-blown access to Cydia and all your tweaks and themes, 
if you use this jailbreak. If you don't know Coolstar, he's been around for quite some time, so he knows what he's doing. He's the guy that brought out the alternative for Winterboard called Anemone. So he's well respected in the jailbreak community and he does good work. Now keep in mind, this jailbreak is also still in beta. So if you wanna wait for the final release, I would recommend doing that unless you know what you're doing. Now I know all of these jailbreaks have like their own little caveats, right? So maybe the best thing to do right now at this moment is just wait just a little bit longer because really soon or hopefully really, really soon, Substrate Insidia is going to be updated and then we can have everything just packaged together in a nice tight knit little group. Where everything works and you don't have to worry about updating your jailbreak and once they get out of beta, you don't have to worry about having to re-jailbreak your device or anything like that. It'll be a finished product and you shouldn't have to worry about any type of stability issues. So right now there's like five jailbreaks out there for iOS 10 up to iOS 11, but they're just not quite there. And if we wait just a little bit longer, things are gonna get nice and packaged up and we can use our little you know, three to five step tool and get Cydia, get Substrate and start installing tweaks and start customizing our devices. Now, one question I do want to address is, when is Substrate going to be updated? When is Cydia going to be installed and working on these jailbreaks? Well, of course, you guys probably know if you've been following jailbreaking for you know any amount of time whatsoever, Sorik is the one that maintains Substrate and Cydia. So he is working on that. He's already declared that he is working on it. And one thing you can definitely count on is that Sorik is going to deliver. He always delivers. It's just a matter of when he is comfortable with the code in order to release it. So we have all these awesome jailbreaks. We have Sorik working on Substrate and Cydia. And once that's released, which we anticipate to have a whole lot of new features in Cydia, maybe even a not complete redesign, but maybe a different look. It would be really nice if that happened. I would love to have a different look for Cydia. But my recommendation for literally every single person, unless you're a developer, is to just hang tight for just a little bit longer, wait for Substrate to be updated, wait for Cydia to be installed and working on these jailbreaks when you actually jailbreak your device. And then at that moment, that's when you jailbreak, that's when you start installing tweaks, that's when you start customizing your devices, and that's when we all rejoice, right? I'm really excited for the iPhone 10 jailbreak and being able to customize that device because I haven't been jailbroken in, in quite some time. I've been using it on my daily driver just because it's kind of been falling off. I'm hoping that this is going to resurge the jailbreak community once everything is complete and everything is prepackaged for that layman user that doesn't really know what they're doing, but at the same time, they wanna customize their advice. So we're on the precipice of a brand new iOS 11 jailbreak. If you hold your horses for just a little bit longer, you're gonna be really grateful that you did. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. If you guys have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer as many as that I can. And there's a ton of really knowledgeable users in the jailbreak community that probably will watch this video and they'll also be able to answer your questions. So help each other out in the comments below. If you see a question that you know the answer to, let them know, help each other out, and let's just get the hype up for the jailbreak for iOS 11. Because once that thing hits, there's gonna be videos on it. I'm gonna be doing tweak videos. I'm gonna be doing customization videos, perfect jailbroken setup videos. I love doing those. You guys uh, usually enjoy those. So that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys wanna stay up to date with everything Apple and jailbreak, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.